Hey man, and welcome back again to another evening uh, playing some video games here on Twitch. Uh, appreciate uh, appreciate everybody stopping by and hanging out this evening. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna have a fun night. So uh, so we're picking back up where we left off last night with uh, with with cards. So when we left off cards last night, we uh, we were playing through our through our tutorial. And uh, made it through the first couple of rounds there. Got two more rounds of the tutorial to play through, which we're going to try to get through this evening. And then we're going to jump into some uh, into some of the uh, some of the regular gameplay there. So, but before I get before I get started too far into this, I just want to call, point out something real fast. Uh, something new that you see here at the top of the screen. Uh, it's a uh, it's a follower account. And, uh, and I never thought I would have put anything up like this whenever I first, first started doing this. But, uh, but when, I, when I first start, I, I do this for fun. I do this for, for, for just for pure entertainment because I love video games and I want to and I want to give the love to video games back out to the world. And, um, and so I put, I put this, uh, this bar at the top of the screen here that, that calls out how many followers I have. Because when I first started doing this, I said to myself, hey, man, if I, if I get 10 viewers out of this thing, I'll be happy. Because um, I wasn't expecting that. And within just a little over a week, I got 10 viewers already. Now, it, it, that's small in the grand scheme of things, especially compared to some of those that have 5,000, 10,000 followers and things like that. But I never have any pre-notions, anything like that's going to happen here. But I got 10 inside of a week and I'm super super happy about that and uh, and so I said hey if we can do 10 we can do 25 so I decided let's uh, let's keep up with it um, so here at the top of the screen our next goal is 25 followers here to be part of the duckling army uh, with with pushy geoduck uh, and we're gonna we're gonna have a good time of it so uh, so tell your friends to come hang out with the old duck and play some video games while while we go through these things together and try to figure some of this stuff out so for, for those of you who've uh, who've uh, who've liked already thank you so much I appreciate it, it makes an old man happy um, to, to for you to come and come and hang out and, and, and watch me fiddle through some of these video games and we'll continue doing it for as long as we're able to so thanks again and tell everybody about it and come hang out with us. Um, but uh, but all that said, let's jump into uh, back into cards, finishing up this tutorial. We got two more sections of the tutorial to finish off. Um, we uh, we defeated the Soviet Union and Japan last night. And let me tell you this: so I've had I've had to I've had to practice some self constraint uh, throughout the course of the day today. It's a good thing I have a job and stuff to where I can't just go off and do the things I want to all. Uh, you know when I want to I wanted to get into this game and play it today like nobody's business and I had to like stop because I wanted to wait for the stream uh, stream tonight because uh, I really enjoyed this game and I was, I've been dying to, to dive back into it um, but uh, but all that said uh, let, let's get let's get into it because I'm super excited all right so our next our next contestant is gonna be Germany let's go ahead and <clears throat> let's go ahead and, uh, and attack attack Germany here And uh, and again, we'll use we'll use the U.S. Uh, the U.S. starter pack uh, against Germany here. Loading it in. All right. I'm playing against Schmidt. And, uh, and again, I'm given the chance to uh, discard any of my cards still within the within the uh, uh, in, in the tutorial phase here. But um, but I can choose I can choose any of these out that I want. But we're going to keep what we got right now. All right? What did they throw here? Just a standard infantry. One attack, two defense. And let's see, what do we want to, I guess I only have, can I throw anything right now? Yeah, let's start with our howitzer. Oh, no, I can't. I got, uh, I got to have some more, some more credits over here, so I can't play anything right now. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and end there. My turn. All right. So now we can uh, we can start pushing that enemy back. So gain one extra credit slot. Units attacked by T19 Howitzer lose guard this turn. So 
Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and throw out the howitzer. And I can't do anything yet. <clears throat> The developer really did a fantastic job with the detail that's just out here um, with the, with some of the elements that are out on the board, from the board the board itself to the little detail that's that's around it. It looks looks really nice. It looks really nice. Okay, so uh, we have three credits to play. So do we want the infantry regiment regiment fully repair friendly unit, uh, which I, I don't need any repair right now, so we might want to hold that. A standard regiment with four attack and four defense, uh, and then we have a. Ooh, we can play our our our, uh, our planes there with two attack, two attack and three defense, and it's ranged. We got a couple of those, so let's go ahead and put our <clears throat> and put our planes out, and we'll attack this front line with our. Oh, I don't have enough credits. I got to wait till I get another credit back. <clears throat> Blackout. That's interesting. Gain five additional credits next turn. Wow, they got some strong cards in their deck there. Okay, so we got four credits, so I could throw out oh actually let's go ahead and do an attack on on the infantry that's in the front line here. Let's go ahead and take them out. <clears throat> I didn't quite take them out, and let's uh, let's go ahead and you know oh so the I'm pinned but okay that's what this indicates then I was pinned because of that card they played a minute ago unit that is pinned can't move move or attack pin is removed at the end of the owner's next turn okay so that's on until okay so we need to just go ahead and pull another card out. And let's go ahead and pull these airborns out because I've got enough to pull uh, these ground units out because i got enough to pull two of those. Oh, and i got a tank regiment over there too. Pull out. <clears throat> and we'll end our turn. So let's go ahead and knock out this front line again. Let's go ahead and there we are. Now we can start attacking. <clears throat> let's go ahead and attack. Oh, actually, let's go ahead and move this, these guys up. Go ahead and take the front line. And now we'll... Uh, not enough range. It's okay, and, but I can do get the range on that. Oh wow! Okay, so that blew my plane up. Why did that blow my plane up? I guess um, I'm not sure why that blew my plane up, but okay. And we'll move the tanks up, and should be all we have. With all the good in, in in this game that I've found so far, the one the one bad thing that I've found so far is found just throughout the play. At least in this tutorial phase, it's, it's slow paced. It took us a solid hour just to get through two two full matches and a and kind of a beginner match. So we did three matches last night. Uh, that first one being kind of short. Now I don't know what I'm doing. I'm fiddling around and I'm talking at the same time, so it's slowing the gameplay down a little bit. But <clears throat> a solid hour for 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 a tutorial plus because it depends on how long this takes it's a little long for a tutorial phase in my opinion but uh but the rest of the game is fantastic so far but anyway okay <clears throat> let's go ahead and uh we'll move let's we'll see well he is this range okay they're range so we'll keep them back um 
and let's pull out fully repair friendly unit. So we could use that right now. Okay, and we'll repair we'll repair our tanks. <clears throat> How many do I have left? I have three left. I can pull out our oh let's pull out some more planes. Yeah. Alright. Now let's uh, let's go ahead and just set them out. Uh, so I should be able to attack here. Oh, I don't have enough credits. Okay, I gotta end because I'm out of credits for right now. And there's the planes attacking me. Oh. <clears throat> we lost control of the front line. That's alright, I'm about to take it back. Because... see so let's go ahead and attack with our planes what do we want to take out up here give all friendly ground units in the front line one plus one defense that might be a good one to take out that one's just basic yeah let's take that one out all right and now we can go ahead and move this guy up to take the front line and then we've got four more credits to play so let's go let's pull out the infantry that leaves us two more and I can get one more credit slot and we will end our turn yeah I certainly I certainly hope that the that the gameplay when it comes to a PvP battle is a little bit more fast paced I feel like it will be but we'll just wait and see uh, enemy has pulled a smoke screen ability unit cannot be attacked by enemy units a unit issue loses a smoke screen if it moves or attacks guard unit and units in the front line cannot have a smoke screen okay <coughs> All right, so I need to take this front line back down. So let me, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little beating on the HQ. So that was, I just got seven credits left. Let me attack the, attack with, is this is really one credit. And that'd be another credit. Okay, and now I got no, I can't move them. All right, so I've got five credits less. Ooh, uh, fully repair all units in the front line and give them one attack and one and two defense. Um, but I don't have anybody on the front line yet, so let's wait on that one. Your HQ is immune to damage on your next turn, so and that's got four attack and five defense. So let's pull that card. And that's all we can do for now. <clears throat> all right. I had a feeling that was coming, but I've got some for it. I've got 10 credits to play, which that's good. Um, okay, so we'll go ahead and make that attack. Take that out. And, all right, so let's go ahead and pull that. Oh, it oh that wasn't good. Okay, <clears throat> it actually that card actually built them built the enemy up. Yeah, I don't like the fact that that card did that. Uh, you would think that would only work on your stuff, but it attached the enemy. That's kind of weird. I'm not can't say I'm a fan of that. All right. 
Uh, and that. Okay. If it's an if it's an enemy, if it's an in, if it's a friendly card and it's going to do attack, it sh it shouldn't. I don't feel like it should have done that. I I can't say I agree with that card, but it is what it is. Uh, okay. See, let me read. So here's another one. Fully repair all units in the front line and give them one attack and two and two defense. But it doesn't say anything about it's going to do it for the enemy. <laughs> That's weird. Anyway, all right. I digress. So let's go ahead and attack these guys. I need to get them off the front line. All right. Alright, so we'll go ahead and pull these two units out. And that will that will end our turn. Okay. So zero credits, what is this? Overwhelming force. Target unit loses guard, smoke screen, ambush and destruction, and resets its attacks. I can't say that I need that right now. Um, but I can go ahead and move these guys forward. Um, I can't say I need that right now. Target unit loses guard, smoke screen, ambush, and destruction. Because I don't have it. Well, okay. What is this? Passive effect. Okay. And that is your HQ is immune to damage on your turn. Okay. So, nothing we can do there. So, let's go ahead and... Um, Let's go ahead and end out of that. Now I have an opportunity to attack what they have in their line. I can go ahead and... But should I go ahead... Okay, that's a ranged attack. Um, if I don't destroy these on the turn, let's go ahead and see if we can take them out. Turned and I can pull. Oh, now I now I'm gonna play this card. <laughs> now I'm gonna play this card. So that will build them up and not my enemy. Okay, and then um, and then we've got a ranged attacker back here that we can use on HQ on the next turn. <clears throat> and that should do it. Right. Okay. All right, so still don't need that for any reason. We're going to hold that in case I need it. Um, not, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. So let's go ahead and beat on HQ a little bit. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and beat on HQ a little bit. We also have this guy that can attack back here. Okay. And that should... Okay, so I can go ahead and get this extra credit slot. Can I not? Okay. And we still don't need that. Alright, so that should be everything. <clears throat> Alright, I guess they're kind of limited on what they can do right now. This might take the match because I'm going to hit them for 5, 10, and uh, 13. So uh, this is this is the match right here. Give a tanker infantry 1 and 1. Yeah. Alright, let's just go ahead and let's knock them out. Boom, and that's the match. There's a W. There's a W. Against the against those forces, and I unlock the German starter deck.
Unity is strength. Um, this is what I got. Give give a friendly infantry one and one for each friendly infantry unit on the battlefield. Cool. <clears throat> okay. All right, and final final match of our of our opening tutorial series here is, is Britain. Now, if if history serves me correctly, uh, Britain was U.S. allies um, in, in during World War II. So let's use Germany to go up against uh, to go up against Britain. History memory serves me, <laughs> which. Uh, it may be a bit rusty. All right, so I have not used this deck yet, so this will be kind of fun to get into a new deck. Uh, get an enemy, enemy uh, unit uh, negative three attack and negative one defense unit uh, at the start of your next turn. Man, I really like the artwork on these cards. It's, they just put so much detail into this. Um, okay, looks good. Confirm. And, uh, okay, so I can actually play our dive bomber at the beginning. I guess we'll, uh, must target enemy. Okay, I can't do that until I get an enemy unit out there. All right, if I were to read the card, it would tell me that. Uh, yeah, give an enemy unit, negative three attack and negative one defense. Okay, and we'll just go ahead and end because there's nothing I can do right now. Okay, all right, so now we've got two, so I could, well, I still can't, well, I could, I can get that, but is this, there we are. All right, so we'll just go ahead and get after that. It's kind of cool, I like the animation. All right, and give a friendly ground unit, give all friendly ground units on the front line plus one defense. Um, I don't have anybody on the front line yet, but let's go ahead and move them out and get them on the board. <clears throat> right, so what uh, what was that? Uh, uh, units with fury can attack twice each turn. That is dangerous. I've got to go ahead and get this tank uh, taken care of. So let's beat on it. Of course, that's not going to take it out, but that's all right. And I've got two two credits left, uh, and um, nothing I can play yet. Oh, what did they just throw there? What was that? I wasn't reading. Uh, deployment, give your HQ two defense. Plus two defense, okay? All right, so I've got four. Um, I want to be sure I can attack, and that's going to take one. So let's throw, what is this, infantry? Uh, let's see, yeah. So let's put you out, and then we'll attack this one again. Oh, shucks, it still didn't take it out. That's okay. Um, all right. <clears throat> all right. All right. Now, certainly, you will go. It puts a little. Okay. Okay. So it lets you know when you're going to destroy it because it puts a little skull and crossbones over it. <clears throat> so sorry about the throat clearing. Um, but uh, it gives you a little skull and crossbones whenever you're about, when you, it's going to let you know when you're going to destroy the target, and that's kind of neat because it knows what, it's kind of telling you what's going to happen. I can move you forward, and I can take it. Um, of course, they'll take it on the next turn. I've got three left. What am I going to put out? Ah, let's put out our ranged attackers. <clears throat> and... That should, uh, that should do it. Uh, the enemy has just played a card called Double A Barrage, which has the retreat ability. When a unit retreats from its from the front line, move it back to its to its owner's support line. If the support line is full, or the unit is retreating directly from the support line, send it back to its owner's hand. So that's interesting. 
So apparently you can pull the cards back from the front line too. Uh, I didn't realize that was an option. That's that's good to good to to know and something to remember. Cup of tea. Give your British units plus two defense. Nice. Okay. All right. <clears throat> what are we gonna do? So we've got six. I've got an attack here. I can do. What can I take out? So I could take out this one, or I could take out this one. Um, give your. Oh, let's take that one out because that's that's adding uh, plus two defense to the. Um, uh, didn't take it away though, did it? Don't have anything I can move up yet. That stinks. Okay, all right, but we can go ahead and throw out a couple. Destroy a unit that costs two credits or less. Must target a unit that costs two credits or less. Okay, so I don't have, I'm not going to use that. Yet. And then go ahead and pull the infantry. Uh, and let's pull some, let's pull some tanks. And we still got enough for one more infantry unit. All right. And that unit out. What's our special on this? Ah, smoke screen. Cannot be attacked by enemy units. A unit loses smoke screen if it moves your attacks. Okay. So that has a smoke screen ability. Ah! Oh. But now I can move up because I have the ability. But if I move up, I'm going to lose my. So let's go ahead and move. Let's move let's move the infantry up. And then still can't make any attacks, can I? Uh Do I have anything two or less? Two or less. That's got two, does it not? Let's target a unit that costs two or less credits. It's two credits. That's one. Interesting. All right. <clears throat> I guess that card is a little confusing. All right. Anyway, so uh, let's see. So let's go ahead and bring out a ranged attacker, and then we'll bring out another regiment of tanks. And that should finish it. Five damage to an enemy tank. Seems like the British the British cards are pretty uh, pretty stout. <clears throat> All right. So we're gonna go ahead and attack you. We're gonna go ahead and attack you. We can do for now. We can go ahead and pull out these Panzer tanks. Um, still nothing on this, huh? All right. Yeah. I gotta start beating on the gotta start beating on the HQ. Um, that's not ranged, is it? No, that's not ranged. Do I have any ranged attackers? Oh, pin the target, pin target enemy air unit, and draw a card. They don't have any air units yet, so uh, we'll wait on that. Let's see. There is my ranged here. Uh, I want to be able to attack, so let me go ahead and move you up. Um, let's see, and if I move you out, I still have the one to attack here. Alright, 
two attack. I can't take out any of these, so might as well beat on the... Oh, no, it's three attack. I could take out that and then wait on my next turn to... Because neither one of those will be able to take out the tank. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, wait. Uh, what did I say? Oh, yeah, so let's take out that. Hmm? Yeah. That is everything, right? Yep, yep, yep. All right, and then turn. <clears throat> Gotta start beating on their HQ. It's interesting. Why does it allow it to hit that one, but not that one? I don't quite understand this card. Um, sudden Strike, destroy a unit that costs two credits or less. Well, that's two credits. That's one credit, and that's two credits. But this is the only one it will let me hit. So interesting. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not quite understanding that. Okay, uh, all right, so let's go ahead and, so that, that unit will be able to attack. So, these guys can't do anything because they're still too far back. Let's move you up, so it really doesn't matter. And you attack HQ. You attack these guys. Ooh, I can take out either one. Is that air? That's an air unit, though. I got something for the air unit. Because what we'll do is we'll pin that air unit. And I can go ahead and pull my tanks. And that should that should do it. Okay. Give your HQ plus seven defense. Jeez Louise. Is that all the cards they have in their deck is adding to the defense of the HQ? <clears throat> Uh, Hasgard, while on the front line. Um, all right. Um, they only have one attack, so I'm not real worried about them. And they can't attack my HQ anyway, and they'll not do anything to any of these. So I got to start. Start. HQ is being guarded. That's our guard. Both of those are our guard. Shucks. All right. So let's go ahead and take out that one. But it didn't take it out. Fun. All right. And oh, jeez. Okay. And come on up to the front line. Keep you back there. And let's go ahead and pin that air unit back down. And let's pull. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and get the aircraft out. 
until I can range attack on that. And that should do it. Now they guard it again. All enemy units in the support line have negative three attack until the start of your next turn. All enemy units in the... Okay. Um, and this is the support line, right? Okay, so... All right. And then... So the only way I'm getting after HQ is if I take these guys out, because those are the guards. Um, so yeah, we just gotta beat on them. Um, actually, destroy them. Is this the only one that will destroy them? And it's confusing. <laughs> Uh, that's another confusing piece. So this has, okay, so that's five. Okay, five and five. Okay, so three and, okay, I see it now. Wow, okay, I had to wrap my head around that one for a minute. That makes sense now, all right. All right, now. I need something with four, and I don't have anything. Oh, actually I do, because I've still got my planes back here that haven't attacked yet. <clears throat> so... You hit. And then... You hit. Go away. And then we'll send the planes out. And then we'll send the planes out. Okay. Anything else? That should do it. Okay. <clears throat> so they just move them out. It's a attack of two on a ranged attack. I've got to get some of those hit points down. Um... I'm just going to go all out and just start attacking it because everything should be able to attack right now. And then we'll see what I have left. Uh, and then I've got my Hasgard Woman front line. And I'll do it. And then. Uh, I wish I'd have looked at that card first. I should have pulled that one. That's all right. Okay. All right, my turn. I can just beat on them again. What is this? Gain five additional credits on your next turn. I need that. Cost three to play. <clears throat> Uh, three credits. I've got 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I'll have enough. Okay, cool. I had to count on my fingers and toes there. Uh, yeah. Is that everything? And then, yeah. And then I'll get five on my next turn. Actually, let's go ahead and pull that out. Okay, that wasn't too bad of a call, I don't guess. Gotta get some Panzer tanks with Blitz. 
<coughs> Blitz means they get, they get to go twice. All right, actually, I finally got him down. Finally got him down to three. <clears throat> and I think this will take it, because I'm going to go at him with everything again. That should do it right there. <clears throat> and there's a W. There's a W. All right, got the Britain starter deck unlocked. Okay, and we are finally, 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 finally done with, uh, with our tutorial phase, I think. Um... Deployment, reduce operation cost by one if you control an infantry. Okay. Um, so finally out of that tutorial phase, yes, I've unlocked all five nations and I can go go forward. So let's see where we get to go now. Oh, I've received a pack of cards. Cool. Um, all right. Now let's see what we have on the main menu here. Unlock an extra reward for, for free. For three free packs. Go to your account settings and your email. Okay, I will do that later. Um, okay, so let's see what we have here. Build decks. So we got a progress bar. Let's just look at this. Progress bar. I, uh, let's see. I guess this is what you get when you go through your reward phase. Okay, so what do you do to go through to the real fort? Increase national experience by playing the nation you want to progress further with. Each time you level up, you'll be rewarded. Okay. And uh, I guess I have to level up each one of these nations in order to redeem these limited cards down here. Uh, a Flam Panzer, Tactical Strike, Air Blitz, uh, Panzer, uh, Panzer, Panzer IV F2, and a Panther G. Cool. All right. Um. Okay, so that was that, and this is our cards. I assume this is where we build our decks. Yes, okay, this is where we build our decks. And this would be the entirety of our collection. Customization? Select a nation to customize. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so this is uh this is like your um Oh, you can change out your equipment that's on the board. You can change like your quick chat settings in game. So that's kind of neat. I like that. So you have different ones. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. That's I like that. I like that aesthetic of it to where you can get in and customize your stuff. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, cool. Collection customization. What's our collection look like? Oh, this is all of our cards. Okay. And I guess we're only showing what we own. Okay, that only shows us what we own. Cool. Uh, does it tell me how many I have in total? I just like to see how many I have in total. Okay, so you can filter it out <clears throat> to your base sets, your legion set, theater war, breakthrough legions, and world at war. Um, we are going to... go away uh, collection overview see how much oh okay at least it said okay this shows your percentages of how much you have of each set that's kind of cool so if you're a collector like me then you want to <laughs> you want to know how many you have of what and what you have of what and that kind of thing so that's kind of neat that it shows you shows you that I did wish it would tell me how many I have overall. Wild card. So there's wild cards. Wild card is a card that is used to... Whoops. There's wild cards in Magic the Gathering, so I wonder if it's kind of sim similar. A wild card is a card that is used to create a specific card that you want or to add to your collection. The card created must be the same rarity as the wild card used. Some wild cards can exclusively be used to create cards from specific nations. Wild cards are used from within your collection or deck builder. Above is an overview of the wild cards you own. The first column shows the generic wild card and the latter columns of the specific nation. So I don't have any any wild cards yet. So we need some of those wild cards because we can build what we want. But I would like to see somewhere, I guess you can see it if you go show all, 
of all the cards that exist. So you, so if you're not sure, I mean, like me, who's just started in the playing the game, I don't know what, what cards exist and what they do and what their significance is. But um, I guess if I hit show all, I could get an idea on that. If we should hit show all and then maybe like filter down to see just the elite stuff and that kind of thing, um, I guess that would you could do it that way but uh, there's probably a list out on out on the intranets somewhere that I could go I could dial up so we'll do that for sure um, anyway so kind of cool so I'm gonna look through all the cards that I have in my I'll go through all these right now I like the little screen effect whenever you uh, flip through the little page animation there it's kind of neat and still I'm just so impressed by the by the artwork that's on the cards just that World War two poster era stuff it looks really cool. I mean, that's just that's just some neat looking stuff. I'm, I'm I dig those types of things. Um, so uh, so oh, and you can do naval stuff. I wonder if there's naval ships for. Can I filter down? Okay, so let's just filter down to see the U.S. <coughs> and are there naval ships within the U.S.? That would be kind of cool. Certainly there is. Uh, but that's all the U.S. cards today, because it'd be kind of cool just to have naval ships, and you could have like you know, like a like a, just a whole br you know, brigade of ships and all, a whole armada of, of naval ships and things like that. That would be, I don't know if it would be effective in a card play, but that would still be kind of neat to have. Um, you can oh so uh um, you can filter okay, infantry, artillery, tanks, bombers. So you can filter it down like this: fighters or and countermeasure. Let's show off. What kind of countermeasures do we have? Okay, there's some naval stuff down there. I see it. They're more for the orders. Uh, what is this? Countermeasures. That's that's neat. Okay. All right. Right on. All right. So let's. Uh, where are we at? Oh, I'm just looking at that. We want to show. Can I get that filter off now? But if I go back, okay, that takes it off. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go back before we run out of time here. Um, stay within my hour. So let's uh, let's back up and see what else we have here. So we got for our our battle modes here. We got training, battle, draft, <clears throat> training, battle, and draft. Draft. Build a deck from random cards and even bigger rewards for each battle you win. Okay, so. Um, I know there are a couple couple of different uh, games out there that have draft systems. I think Magic has a draft system. I think Gwent, the uh, the Witcher card game, has a has a draft system. So that'd be kind of cool to, to get into uh, your battle, your your progress, your overall cards shop. So um, so something I was going to mention earlier is that this game is a free to play game uh, over on Steam. It doesn't cost you anything to play it. Um, but uh, but the, you can pay for expansion packs and things like that. <clears throat> so I assume this is where you can probably go buy different cards and stuff like that if you go over to the shop here. Um, and that's probably where you can also purchase the expansion packs and things that you can buy directly through Steam. Uh, packs. So this is the this is the, uh, the open the card packs that you <clears throat> that you own. So let's uh, let's let's do let's do some card open. Because card opening is like, uh, is in, in my opinion, is kind of like Christmas morning. I love opening cards um, uh, here inside these games. So we got one to open. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what that effect is. All right, cool. So it looks like we have <clears throat> two standard cards. We got some. All these are standard cards. That's a limited card. Okay, so let's see what we got. And I got a limited wild card reward. Cool. So every six regular packs. Officer packs count double. You open, earns uh, earns you an extra wild card as a reward. Five more packs until your next limited wild card. Cool, 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 cool. <clears throat> okay, zero percent for crate contents. What is that? Open the crate when it's one hundred percent full or more. Fill the crate by collecting cards. Oh, neat. Okay, so the more cards you collect, this crate will get full, and as that crate gets full, you get different rewards off of it. That that's pretty neat. <clears throat> okay. Um, all right, so let's see what we got. Let's uh, we'll, we'll hold that one to the end to kind of see what that one looks like. Um, so uh, so the first one, this is a this is a is that a British card? Can I see? 
Uh, yeah, that's a British card. I can see the little emblem up there in the right-hand corner. Um, we got a guard. This is an American card. Yet yeah, supply shipment. Give a unit the front line on the front line a um, a uh, a, a uh, plus two and plus three um, uh, a plus two attack and a plus three defense. Hello. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in on you here. Uh, down. Uh, Downing Systems. How you doing this afternoon? Thanks for stopping by. I'm actually just about, about to wrap the stream up, um, but if you've been hanging out for a while, I certainly do appreciate it. Appreciate you coming in hanging out. Um, how you doing this evening? Uh, we're just kind of going through opening some cards here in the cards game. Um, uh, this, is, and, and this is one of my most fun, uh, most exciting parts of any card game is getting to go in and open up some, some card packs. Um, but uh, but kind of going on down to the next one here, we got another British card, the Matilda MK2 tank. Um, and uh, let's see, units damaged by the Matilda are pinned. Cool, that's a good, um, that's a good, uh, uh, you know, um, effect to have on your on your opponent. And then a uh, infantry 506 airborne. As, uh, that helped me out in a couple of occasions in the games that I played. And the limited card is our. Is it shiny? Was it shiny? Yeah, this is actually. Uh, I don't know if you noticed uh, or not. This is my. This is my second time playing. Um, so, uh, so my first stream last night was the very first time I opened the game up, and this is. Uh, I just finished playing through the opening tutorial of the first four. Uh, tutorial of the game. I love it. it. It's so far so good. It's it's a, it's a really great game. Um, it seems like the, I think the the developer 1939 games. Um, they uh, they put they, you can tell they put a lot of work into this game and uh, put a lot of detail in there as far as uh, as far as you know just 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 the stuff that's there. Uh, you know as far as just like the detail in the cards with the artwork and the things that are on the board. Um, really cool game. It's got a really neat battle system inside of it too that I really like. Um, I've been playing a little bit of. Uh, I've been. I've really gotten into the card game genre recently, um, and uh, and and I've and I've been playing a little. Trying to play a little bit of everything that it was out there, at least the popular stuff um, that it was that's out there. And uh, and and you know I've played you know played like uh, uh, Hearthstone and RuneScape. I've streamed some of those. Um, not RuneScape, uh, Hearthstone and uh, Magic the Gathering, excuse me, um, and uh, and those games are great, uh, but the cards tend to get a little complicated if you've ever played those, and, and maybe it's just me not knowing enough about the games. I know a lot of people study those cards and uh, and get in and and, and really uh, get really detailed with their deck building. Um, and, uh, and, and again, I've just started into, into them as well. And I was having, just in the, in the first few plays of them, I was having a hard time wrapping my head around um, what all the cards do and, you know, and all those types of things. But with this game specifically, um, it's pretty straightforward. You know, you, you've, got, you've got attack, you've got defense. This is what it does. You drop it on and it goes. I, I, you know, if you, if you go back and watch any of the other streams, um, or the stream from last night, you see I struggled a little bit with m figuring out how to move the things to the front line on my front from my first play and everything like that. But now that I've got it, I understand it. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. There's still a couple of cards in there that are that are confusing me a little bit while some of them are working the way they do uh, that I just went through. And I don't know if you got to see any of that or not. Um, while some were working and some were not when I thought they would be working. But outside of that, it's been it's been great so far and I've really been enjoying it. Um, and I and I plan to play some more of this. This might be in my regular rotation for streaming going forward. Um, you know, but what I'm going to do from here is, uh, and like I said, I was just getting ready to wrap the evening up here. Um, I was kind of wanting to. I was kind of looking through some of the options that are here. So it's got a campaign mode, and that's pretty neat. So um, and it says free. Uh, oh, play the first scenario for free. So I assume. That if you're going to play some more of these campaigns, you're going to have to... I don't know if they're going to cost tickets or you're going to have to pay some real money for them. But that's still kind of neat that it has a full-on campaign mode. Um, so if you get tired of playing <clears throat> you know, online matches, you can jump into the campaign. And it also looks looks like here that it's also got a... Uh, make sure you claim your reward on the bottom of the front page. Uh, oh, 
that reward now claimable. Oh, I see that. Oh, I get a I get another card pack. Neato, cool. Thank you for pointing that out. I would not have seen that. Um, and then uh, and then missions too. So uh, so I assume this is kind of like another campaign piece of the um, uh, of the mission uh, or the game. Uh, like kind of like you know kind of goes along with uh, you know actually you just not playing straight on it. You know. PvP, but what I am really excited about is uh, is doing some PvP play on here because the battle system is really neat, and I can see where it can be really competitive. And speaking of which, I actually read on Steam's page uh, earlier today that there's a tournament coming up for for cards. I don't know if that's the first one or not. No one no one cards is still kind of new, um, but I guess they got they're in it. They're going to be playing for some real money. Um, so that's that's kind of that's kind of neat. Um, and I don't know if there's local tournaments or anything like that, but uh, but having a really good time with this with this game. And since since you since you pointed out that I get to open some more cards, let's go ahead and do that real quick because uh, I would not have seen that had you not pointed out. So let's see what we got. Um, so let's let's see what we get here. So we got I uh, got uh, three Germans and two British. Um, so we get the combined arms, give a friendly tank, uh, one attack and one tent offense for, for each unit type you control. Uh, naval support, uh, change the attack type, the attack to target, to the target unit to be, uh, equal to its defense. Um, a panzer deployment, uh, draw a card. Uh, six pounder, uh, deals double damage against tanks and uh and then then a panzer uh panzer blitz so it looks like some really good cards there uh, i'm kind of looking forward to getting into some deck building with this too because it looks like you could build out some pretty pretty effective decks uh especially when it comes into uh especially when it comes into um i guess uh, pvp play and things like that uh so i'm, so I'm really really excited to, to, to get into some of that so we'll we'll probably i'll probably put together some streams on that coming coming forward uh going forward uh in the next uh next week or two because <clears throat> i do want to i do want to play this online more but what i'm going to do from here like i said i'm going to go ahead and uh, and shut it down for the evening so i do appreciate you stopping by um if you have any pointers be <laughs> feel free to send them over to me because i'll take everything that i can get um but uh uh so but this will be part of my i feel like this will be part of my my streaming rotation going forward because it, it it's pretty fun um but uh but yeah so um hey man thanks for the follow thanks so much i i, I greatly greatly appreciate that um the duck kind of startled me there and you're actually my first online uh my what i don't i think i think you're my first online follower so so you get the you get that honor too so uh while i'm streaming so appreciate the follow I certainly do appreciate it we are going to be doing some more of this um but uh but yeah so and i do stream uh just, you know different types of games like i said i've been doing mostly card games recently uh, i'll do something tomorrow night i haven't 100 percent decided what i'm going to do tomorrow night yet it might be some more cards i don't know or we might take a break and do something else um but uh but uh but friday night for sure got a schedule for seven days to die the friday night scarathon if you've ever played ever seen or seen or looked at seven days to die we'll be doing that friday night at 10 p.m eastern standard time uh where where the audience will get to uh get to the side or fates uh me and me and uh forever curris another another streamer are going to get together and play some seven days to die and it has twitch integration so you get to get to uh get to uh, either help us out or, or, or make us hurt, uh, depending on depending on how you're feeling for the evening. So that'll be a good time. Looking forward to that. But we'll do some more tomorrow night too. Uh, but I haven't nailed down what I'm going to be playing tomorrow night. I guess it'll, it'll be kind of a mystery game, and we'll figure it out whenever we get there. But um, yeah, so thank, thanks for stopping by. Thanks again so much for the follow. Greatly appreciate it. If you notice, I got a little goal up there. I'm trying to get to 25 followers. I know because I just, I've just only been doing this for like a week and having so much fun with it. And, and the community is so great. I uh, never thought I'd even get 10 followers, now 11. And uh, and uh, um, and now we're just going to we're gonna see if we can get to 25. Uh, so, so looking forward to that. So uh, drop on by and hang out with us. 
Uh, so I do appreciate it. Uh, hey, you too. Uh, appreciate it. And, and do appreciate you stopping by and hope, and see, hope we see you more. But uh, but yeah, we'll shut it down now. Thanks for everything tonight. I am Pushy Geo Duck. You can find me everywhere at Pushy Geo Duck over at Twitter and YouTube and of course here on Twitch. Um, and, uh, and, and, and hope you stopped by and hope you had a good time hanging out with us tonight. And uh, thanks for watching. And as always, be awesome.